Welcome to Broken Toast, and I am your host, the Misfits Messiah. I've been called upon by a higher power to dig through the bowels of YouTube looking for misfit gems. Those YouTubers whose videos don't get many hits and whose channels doesn't get many views. And to present them here each week, the weird, the odd, <laughs> the strange, the offbeat, the, the outsider, the wonderful. And hopefully they will be appreciated and maybe even loved. So look and see what I got for you now. Allow me to introduce a bored little man. Not Really Productions channel is the name of his channel. And he's from uh, the UK, and he's really hard to understand because he's from the UK. But uh, he's a misfit, and here's uh, an example of one of his videos, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> As suggested by I Love Harmonica. <gasps> I'm naked. Uh, yeah, three three pizzas with uh, uh, all the works and some. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. This is the channel of Bug and Rug, and it's Chat with Chris. And she's from Canada, so that makes her an automatic misfit. But she also does vlogging on here, and she does some kind of crazy singing, and that's the video I'm going to show. It's called Sugar Sings for Brian's Contest, and I guess she was doing it for with another vlogger here on YouTube. But anyway, here it goes. Mm -hmm. Show a little more. Show a little less, add a little smoke, welcome to burlesque, everything you dream of, but never can possess, nothing's what it seems, welcome to burlesque. Got a little extra well give it to the bed. You may not be guilty, but you're ready to confess. Tell me what you need. Welcome to Burlesque. You can dream of cocoa. Do it at your risk. The triplets grant you mercy, but not your every wish. Jesse keeps you guessing, so cool and statuesque. Behave yourself, says Georgia. Welcome to burlesque. Okay, this is Bookworm 1390H channel, and she's, um, I guess, one of those eclectic mix of uh, stuff that she does. She talks about anything from nail polish to books and things like that. And the uh, video that I'm going to show of her today is where she wants a shout out so she can get more subscribers. So, hey, maybe some of my misfit fans will want to subscribe to her channel. Well, of course, if I had some fans. <laughs> hey there, guys. Bookworm 1398 here. Hey, Shailene, I was just watching one of your videos. And you said, if anybody wants a shout out, let me know. I want a shout out. I'm stuck at 57 subscribers. And I can't seem to get any more. To I'm playing with your hair, young lady. Maybe you need a fez. <laughs> Maybe if you help me by giving me a shout out, I'll get some more subscribers. Thanks, Shailene. Bye. <laughs> 
and, and I'm stuck at like 30 something subscribers. I need a shout out. In fact, I need a really big shout out. Hmm. Okay, on last week's show, episode uh, 7, I did uh, a fellow by the name of uh, Mr. Anthony BTV. And uh, he got back to me and he sent me a very angry message on his cell phone. And unfortunately, he called my cranky neighbor instead. And this is what happened. It's kind of weird. Oh, really? You son of a bitch, I get a hold of you. If I ever get a hold of you, I'd crucify you. Snap! This is Foss 668H channel. He's a, as he says, a uh, pseudo-film critic and a filmmaker at large. And he's a misfit because he's a misfit. And his channel has a lot of different things. He does uh, movie trailers and some really cool stuff like that and splicing movies together. And he does uh, film reviews, as he's going to do right here for you, of Captain America. Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Jerry at the Movies. This week I'm going to review Captain America, not the version that's currently in theaters, uh, but a version from 1990, much maligned version from 1990. Well, that's a cheap shot. Captain America, he's out in the movie, so you're doing a, a movie review from, from 20 years ago. Why don't you do like Planet of the Apes from like 19, uh, 19, 2000 instead of doing like Rise of the Planet of the Apes, you know? You're like, you're like riding on the... On the, on the uh, 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 that starred Matt Salinger, J.D. Salinger's son, J.D. Salinger being the one, of course, that wrote uh, Catcher in the Rye. And he plays the iconic uh, Marvel comic superhero, the red, white, and blue superhero with his shield of armor. Now, Matt Salinger, uh, of course, is Captain America, Steve Rogers, and he is polio-stricken and volunteers for a army experiment where he'll be injected with a serum that will make him into a super soldier, codenamed Captain America. It's like, a, it's like Morse code. I'm picking up some kind of other message here. Uh, <laughs> uh. Now that Salinger, uh, of course, is Captain America, Steve Rogers. And he is polio stricken and volunteers for a army experiment where he'll be injected with a serum that will make him into a super soldier codenamed Captain America. So before you know it, in the first 20 minutes of this picture, he goes through all of this uh, backstory very quickly. Um, he is Captain America and he fights the Red Skull and he's ready to fight World War II and here we go. And there's a scuffle, if you like, a fist fight between him and the Red Skull before Red Skull has him strapped to a rocket missile. There's someone I'd like to strap to a missile right now. Um, but it's that, it's that, that Morse code I am keep picking up here. So, uh, uh, maybe next time we'll visit Jerry at the movies. Because right now I'm picking up mm, sideband. You're watching Broken Toast. He's been doing stupid things right since 1966. This is uh, Sam Murray's channel, uh, Sam Murray 5's channel, excuse me, and he is from the Mecca of Misfits, and that's New Jersey. So I think that kind of says it all. So let's watch what he's got to do. Hmm. I got a package in the mail today. I got a package in the mail today. And do you know what it is? Uh, would it happen to be eyebrows? I think I know what it is. All the way from Ireland. From a certain band. No, not you two. No, not the cranberries. Nope. I got my Ratley on CD today. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be the Starland Vocal Band's greatest hits. Well, they only had one hit, but still, Starland Vocal Band, that's the music for the Messiah. <laughs> cool. It's got 15 tracks on it. Check that out. Hey, that's all there is. There isn't any more. And what there was is all gone.
Until next time, you've been watching Broken Toast. And hey, if you know of any good misfits, please send them my way. I'll be happy to put them on the show. Maybe it'll even be you.